The footballers on this training pitch might be the most valuable assets of their university or even their town. Since the Baylor Bears started doing well five years ago, the number of people applying to study at Baylor skyrocketed. And it's brought profile, attention, and huge amounts of cash. Well, even an up-and-coming college team like Baylor in Waco has spent nearly $270 million on its new football stadium here. And even though it has a capacity of over 45,000, it managed to sell out every ticket for every game at the beginning of the season. In popularity, college football now rivals the American Professional League, the NFL. Televised college games have made young athletes like Baylor's big stars. Just to be part of the atmosphere, seeing all the fans, you know, there, you know, happy to be there, you know, cheering us on. It's, it's, an, it's an amazing atmosphere. It's really electric. And, it, and again, it, it's part of the reason why we're so successful right now as a team as well. But how are college footballers reacting to the crisis that's erupted in the NFL? Now to NFL star Ray Rice. The Some of its most high-profile players have been suspended for domestic violence. Ray Rice was even caught on camera punching his then fiance in the face. College players at Baylor are already being coached to learn lessons from what's happened. It's definitely something that we're trying to make sure we don't get in the headlines for. Um, we, had a, we had a little meeting the other night where they brought in a speaker to talk about violence with women and whatnot, um, just, to, just to make sure we stay ahead of the game. But there are many, even on the Baylor University campus, who feel players' star status from an early age has contributed to the problem. It's because people like kind of treat them like celebrities in college, even. So I think they're like, I think they're like higher than everybody else. Like, we can do whatever we want, you know. I feel like it starts in high school. Um, mentality is probably like built up, you know. Um, you know, once you get away with something one time, you're like, oh, I can get away with that always. They might not look it, but these are teenagers. And this isn't a college game, but a high school one. The players are already very much in the spotlight. If the NFL's serious about dealing with abusive behavior, there are many who feel they have to start here, taking a look at the elevated status given even to the game's youngest stars. Aline McCool, BBC News in Waco, Texas.